The product I'm going to use in this video was gifted to me by the manufacturer, Fifine. This is the Fifine Ampligame H9 gaming headset, which might just be the best budget gaming headset on the market, but we'll get to that soon. Right off the bat, the box is noticeably smaller than other competitors in the headset market, with the visual real estate being reserved for the gloss product shot on the front face and key product highlights throughout. Upon opening the box, we can establish that it's only filled with the essentials, including a fold-out quick start guide, a box of accessories which includes the USB dongle and detachable boom mic, and of course, the headset. The headset itself features a signature Fifine Smile logo printed on both of the outer cups, which makes for a subtle piece of branding that naturally feeds into the gamer aesthetic and is a very cool touch. Visuals aside, the headset itself weighs only 260 grams, making it one of the lightest on the market and from personal use feels much lighter than other competitors I've trialed. This is amplified by the soft, leather-like material that covers the spongy headband and earmuffs, which are beneficial especially for periods of prolonged usage like extended gaming sessions. As with most headsets, the headband is adjustable to allow for a range of head sizes, with mine fitting comfortably and still having the option to go bigger if I needed to. As mentioned earlier in the video, the headset also comes with a detachable boom mic that utilizes an omnidirectional polar pattern. The omnidirectional nature of the microphone limits popping from plosive sounds and wind noise. However, it is detachable so you have the option to use another source depending on what your setup allows for. As a quick audio test, I'm going to compare the mic against Sony's H3, given they're both considered to be all-in-one headsets. This is my voice with the Fifine Ampligame H9 gaming headset. And this is my voice quality with the Sony InZone H3 gaming headset. With this headset, you have the option to use both the 3.5mm headphone jack or the USB connection, creating a seamless plug-and-play experience no matter what device you're using. With the addition of sound controls for the headset and microphone, as well as microphone muting available directly through the dongle when you plug it in on PC. Not only that, but the dongle also provides the option of additional emulated 7.1 surround sound, which can be activated and turned off with a simple button click. While using the headset, I've found the audio quality to be super clear, and have no tinny or hollow effects that you can sometimes get in products of a similar price range. This included everyday tasks like work calls, right through to editing for this video. My only criticism of the headset itself is the cord length being slightly short, measuring in at just one meter. However, that shouldn't be seen as a major issue, especially if you're sitting in a semi-stationary position, e.g. on the couch or at your desk. As always, the biggest question is, how much is it? The Ampligame H9 comes in at a very affordable $38 US or $58 for my fellow Australian gamers, which we love, especially in a cost of living crisis. Overall, from my time using the Fifine Ampligame H9 gaming headset, it's a fantastic option for everyone looking for a budget, multi-purpose headset. Whether it's just for chatting with your friends over Discord, gaming, or even casual viewing of YouTube videos, it's going to get the job done. If you want to grab one of these headsets for yourself, I've left a link in the description for you to easily find it. If you've made it this far, leave a like or a comment that says, Feeling fine? And I'll return the love with a heart to thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Tap the bell icon after subscribing and you'll never miss a video again. And consider checking out my Facebook page as well for daily gaming updates and news. Thanks guys. This is the official PS5 DualSense controller charging station from Sony PlayStation. And before you decide to go out and get a third party one, I'm going to try and convince you why you should get the official one.